Hello, my name is Malcolm Furban. I teach physics here at King's College London, and today I'm going to tell you about my favourite problem in physics, which is the horizon problem. So this is our diagram of the universe. This is time, and this is space. That's where we are today. Now the universe is expanding, which means that if you run time backwards, everything used to be a lot closer together. The density was higher, the pressure was higher, and the temperature was higher. And for the first 400,000 years of the universe, it was basically full of fire. After 400,000 years, the fire goes out. Now, if you imagine putting a fire out when you go camping, basically the light from that fire moves off in all directions from all directions. So the universe is full of light from this first 400,000 years when it was completely full of fire. And as it expands, this light gets stretched from being orange to red to infrared, and today it's microwave. So when we look at things that are very far away from us in the universe, of course, we're looking backwards in time because it takes light a long time to travel across the universe. So if we look at a distant galaxy, we're not seeing how it appears today. We're looking how it appeared in the past because the light from that galaxy takes some time to get to us. If we look to the furthest thing that we can see in the universe, it is the light from this fire that was emitted 400,000 years after the Big Bang. And if we look in that direction, and if we look in that direction, that corresponds to looking in opposite directions in the sky. Now, when we actually do that, and we've detected this radiation, it's got exactly the same temperature over there as it has over there. And that's the horizon problem. Why is it a problem? The problem is that when we're looking in that direction, we're looking at a patch over here, B. And when we're looking in that direction, we're looking at a patch over there, A. And in the 400,000 years between the Big Bang and when that light was emitted, there isn't time for a signal to travel between A and B. So how can it be that they've both got exactly the same temperature? And the way that we solve that problem is that we think that A and B actually started off really, really close to each other in the early universe. But then there was a period that we call cosmological inflation when the universe expanded exponentially quickly, effectively faster than the speed of light, such that B got zoomed out over there and A got zoomed out over there. And that's how we explain that A and B have both got exactly the same temperature, even though that appears to be impossible. And that's the solution to the horizon problem.